Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for July 10th. Uh, keep in mind that these are general readings, as always. You know, if they resonate with you, that's great. And if they don't, you know what to do with it. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, because you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the description box below. If you're new, welcome, and make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button, that way you get notified for all the uh, new stuff that I put out there. If you're turning, hey, thanks for sticking this out with me. Uh, let's see, also, I go live every Wednesday, so come join me and a great bunch of people to uh, do a look in on all the Zodiac signs, as well as a random reading. So, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, every Wednesday. Also, I am running a raffle. For the whole month of July, I will pick a winner at the end of July. Uh, it gives you a chance to win one of my beautiful glow pendulums, my awesome mystery healing boxes, or a half-hour reading with me. So, the way to get in is to make a donation to my channel. Any donation, big or small, doesn't matter. That gets you in. That way I have your email address and your name, and now uh, I can get in contact if your name is pulled. So, let's see what's crack in here. Or the tent. What's the engine? Oh, that one came out like a bullet. What's the chariot? It's about moving forward with victory and success, confidence. But you gotta get those two horses to work together head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. You rein those two in, that chariot will take you anywhere. So, wow. This could be, I mean, this could be a whole bunch of things. Moving on in a career, elevating. Moving, it could be in travel. But it's also, you know, getting yourself together to make better choices. So, let's see. What we got going on with this? Ooh. Somebody might have stopped talking to someone. You get the spy card in reverse. Now, in the upright, <clears throat> this could be, you know, internet. Try to get info on the internet. Like, if you're seeking employment. or Seeking info on someone. But in the reverse, not happening. You know, maybe the way to move forward from something is to cut communication off with it. Now remember, this could be, you know, friendship, partnership, love ship, career, family, any one of those ships. My cards just, my cards just want to go everywhere. Somebody is coming out of a state of, you know, maybe anxiety. Sleepless nights. To be having nightmares. This is about worryment. You know, thinking about something over and over and over again. So it drives you crazy, right? Somebody let that go too. Yeah. Somebody could have stopped, you know, over analyzing, over thinking something by not communicating. That's the way to move forward. And how about that independence? Nine of Pentacles, the I'm good solo card. You know, this, it's very entrepreneurial, self-reliant, self-efficient energy. You know, this person doesn't go without. In fact, they take care of themselves pretty well. Somebody's, you know, good with their uh, finances. And now you have the four of Pentacles in reverse as well. This is known as a miser card. But somebody who doesn't express themselves, you know, doesn't voice their opinion. Not anymore. Somebody's not mousing out here. They're letting something go. They're not going to worry about it anymore. They're not going to speak about it. And maybe somebody is good, you know, by themselves, making their own choices. They're not afraid to talk about it anymore. It could have been their experience that they've gone through. Or, you know... They stop communication with someone, but they're not going to stop communication totally. You know, I'm kind of thinking like maybe it's a group of friends. And just because somebody doesn't speak with someone doesn't mean that the rest of them aren't friends. You know, type of thing, scenario. This also could be somebody telling somebody straight up, I don't want to talk to you. They could be putting somebody, somebody or a situation, possibly a job behind them. Because they made a decision. Mm -hmm. 
You get the two of rods in reverse now. Now, this is coming to a crossroad. You know, you gotta go left to right. But in the reverse, somebody knew where they had to go. Or where they wanted to go. Where they're gonna go. Right on the chariot. So, I believe that somebody stopped communication with someone for their own personal growth. See? <laughs> You know, somebody could have been keeping somebody, you know, feeling trapped or obligated to them. Yeah, because you know what? They stopped communication because it was just getting heavier and heavier, that load. Ten of wands in the upright would be the end of a cycle, a heavy, you know, burden to carry, heavy load. And in the reverse, you know, usually they can just drop this in... Start at one, but this person keeps carrying it and carrying it. That's why communication stopped. They're probably doing themselves a favor by sparing themselves these feelings of obligation. You know, somebody might, might you know, give in every time, and then this time not going to. Could be with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. Now, in the upright, they're very intuitive. They come off, you know, even keel, got their emotions on a check. I always call it the poker face because they come off that way. They could be dying inside, but they would never let you know it. They wouldn't give you that satisfaction. And somebody's just not worried about this person anymore. Somebody's probably gone solo and maybe trying to cut communications because it's just, you know, it gets emotionally too, um, you know, bearing for them. Or, you know, somebody could always be telling them, you know, I want to, I need you. They're like, I can't do this. Hmm. Because, now you get the hermit in reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo. In the upright, the seeker of knowledge here. The Sherlock Holmes of the cards, I always say. You know, he doesn't rely, rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He gets that for himself. That way he knows what's true and what's not. Sometimes it's about isolation or seclusion. The hermit don't mind. You'd rather have it that way. But in the reverse, this is like coming out with what you know. And right here with the not, you know, not being silent. And it's right under the, you know, the nine of pentacles, the I'm good soul, that self-reliant, self-efficient energy here. It very well could be that somebody went through something tumultuous with someone. They're ready to move forward. They don't let this person get to them anymore. And then when they'll talk about it, maybe they feel that maybe talking about it actually helps other people get through something maybe similar. All right. Yeah. Because this person had to walk away. The Eight of Cups is just, you know, emotionally checking out a situation. You know, but it's not fulfilling. And that's right under the four of Pentacles Reverse. They'll talk about why they had to walk away. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Bottom of the deck. Mmm. Get the shadow side, a.k.a. Devil, in the Witch's Tarot. Now, this card. Oh, look at that emperor on the bottom. So could be somebody controlling. Or regaining control. This card. Those two people know each other very well in the dark. At least I think they do. And then the demon or devil in the back shines the lighting. And they see each other for how they really are. And they're horrified. You didn't really know them. You see another part of them that they never knew existed. And, you know, holy error. They didn't know them at all. So some of these true colors could have been coming out here. And somebody was strong enough, you know, not to get sucked into it and move on from it. Okay, let's get into it. We get the chariot here moving forward with victory and success, getting that head and heart on the same page. And cutting off communications. By cutting off communications, 
You know, somebody can sleep at night. They don't stress or worry. This person has found their independence, relying on themselves, taking care of themselves. And now they're not going to keep something silent anymore. They chose the path that they wanted to go down. And by cutting off communication, they don't have to keep on carrying this, this heavy load, this burden. Cycle after cycle. This could be with a water-like person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or this could be the person breaking free. But I kind of think it's somebody, you know, involved or was involved with a water-like person because they're not going to worry about that person anymore. And they're coming out with the knowledge that they've acquired. Whether this is a life lesson. They're smarter. They're wiser now. And they will talk about they ha why they had to walk away from it. And they're going to expose someone or something that they kept in the dark for a while. This person might be giving a warning to everyone else. You know, this is a pattern. Oof. So let's break it down. Moving forward in choosing that path to move forward and not to stay in the past. This person knows that cutting off communication here lightens the load. Or they can finally drop it. This person is not going to worry about or get anxiety over a water-like person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody just, you know, has the traits. Because this person is independent. They did it on their own. They're doing well. And they've acquired knowledge through this experience. They'll share it. Because this person's not going to stay silent about all the reasons why they emotionally checked out that they had to leave something. This person probably wanted better for themselves. Or put themselves for a self-love, self-respect here, folks. After something was exposed. Whoa. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays. If you join me and the peeps at when at Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Also, get in on that raffle. So until then, folks, take care.